Welcome to our final Fridays with Francis. Today, the Pope encourages us to prepare the future together with Jesus, who saves and heals. In recent weeks, we have walked the paths of dignity, solidarity, and subsidiarity, paths that are essential to promote human dignity and the common good. As disciples of Jesus, we have proposed to follow in his footsteps, opting for the poor, rethinking the use of material goods and taking care of our common home. I would like this journey not to end with my catechesis, but rather that we continue to walk together to Keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, who saves and heals the world. Jesus gives us the gifts necessary to love and heal as he knew how to, and to take care of the world without distinction on the basis of race, language, or nation. In order for this to really happen, we need to contemplate and appreciate the beauty of every human being and every creature. Acknowledging this and giving thanks for the intimate bonds in our universal communion with all people and all creatures activates generous care full of tenderness. And it also helps us to recognize Christ present in our poor and suffering brothers and sisters, to encounter them and to listen to their cry and the cry of the earth that echoes them. Inwardly mobilized by these cries, we will be able to regenerate society and not return to so-called normality, which is an ailing normality indeed, which was ailing before the pandemic. The normality to which we are called is that of the kingdom of God, where the blind receive their sight and the lame walk, lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up and the poor have good news preached to them. In the normality of the kingdom of God, there is bread for all and more to spare. We need to set to work urgently to generate good policies, to design systems of social organization that reward participation, care and generosity. We must go ahead with tenderness. Let us place this healing journey under the protection of the Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Health. May she, who carried Jesus in her womb, help us to be trustful. Thank you.